All right, solving qu quadratic equations. One of the key to solving quadratic equations is having one side of the equation equal to zero. That is a key factor. That's the first thing you should always think about. Quadratic means x squared. So I'm going to take that and use my factoring skills that I've learned in the past. There's a one in the coefficients, so it's an easy kind. I'm going to factor it. And I know that this is going to be x minus 3, x plus 2. Because what two numbers multiply to get negative 6 and combine to get negative 1, which is this. Now, please make sure you keep the equal 0 to. That's important. This is an equation. If there's nothing here, if this is gone, that's a different kind of thing. That's an expression. And we simplify expressions. We solve equations. Keep the equal 0. Well, now I'm going to apply the null factor law, which says that this number, x minus 3, equals 0, or this number, x plus 2, equals 0. And I therefore add 3 to both sides, I get x equal to 3, or subtract 2, and I get x equal to minus 2, and I'm left with both of these two answers, which you need both. And that's a fairly simple example. Let's try another example. When I have a scenario where I have it's 5x squared minus 7x equals 0. There's no third term here. So I have to do a different kind of factoring. And if I look at this, I can see that there's an x in both. So I'm going to do what's called a common factor. I'm going to pull out just simply the x and 5x minus 7 equals 0. And now, well, this here is a number. So this number, x equals 0, or 5x minus 7 equals 0. So I already have this one. This one I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And then I'm going to divide by 5. So x is 7 fifths. And you can leave it as an improper fraction, which will be fine. And so your final answers are x equals 7 fifths, x equals 0. We'll stop this one here. We'll do another one in a second.